So this this the annotation did the reading the the attribute the properties from the from you all the application dot properties file and respective bound properties files from 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 here. So that means this the properties is controlled by the externally from from your you you setting variables you you environmental settings variables from here so this is the portal properties you read externally you set the properties in here this is the url and this is overwriting the properties in here in that these these properties so that means you set the variables with value for this one and it's override the properties that's in here so in default in here so this is important one to communicate the to set the properties where the your default URL path for the for your web service deployment applications. So that means we we call we we get we read the properties from the from the properties files and then and this is I said this is the input parameter for the applications and this is the simple simple settings of the, the objects that you need. So we put it the object and we transform this object as a JSON string value. So, because the in the in the in the in the definition of the web service has a string object, so we convert our input objects and pass it, we get it um, yeah, string value, uh, JSON JSON string value for those uh, those object values. So you have input parameter this, and then we pass it like um, object mapper, and object mapper transform the the right value as a string and put it the object and get it the string of the objects. And then, and then after that, we transform the, our objects, and then we. This is the base URL. I mean, the base URL that's you set it here. So this part of the URL is a base URL for every call of the web service. Then we pass the our additional parameter. That's the our our service uh, service actions, the service method call, and this is the the input parameter, and this is the object to the combination. So in this the object has all the combination of the the parameters in the in the search criteria that means this is the input you can put it like side script but i will show you the detail the how is it web page look like the independent parameter if is this input the string object json object is null then then please go this the default parameter the maximum search limit this is one of the parameter the input parameter for those objects and then you see that the those objects were the input parameter you see the uh, the maximum maximum here is the parameter the search limit and then search offset set in here well, search offset set means uh, when from where to where you try to 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 get the the application and the the records so from from fast 1000 or from 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 the last uh, from the next 1000 that means 1001 to the 2000s that's that's the the offset value you can set it in like that mean this is the idea to to get your pagination concept to the to the your 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 web web pages so then we call it that like our api the base url and pass the 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 the, the function names or your, your api uh, action names and then push the your API, uh, the input and we can pass it like and then we can call it like a rest template methods get for objects and you pass you the url and pass it the your output definition output object as the array and you pass it the your all the the combination of the input parameters and then you get the list of uh, as you, you pass it like array and get it the list of a, a list of objects and you check it like this is object null return this in the not null and then if it is null then return is the, the, the simple exception handling if you use there is no in the no such no record is there then it doesn't fit the null point exception we handle like this to return the blank a list of objects a list of object from that that one so the same thing is here so depending on the input parameter is the basic input parameter for the get nature and exactly same call and transformation is exactly the same and you can go through the buildings and it's the same input and input output parameters and maybe it's this input and output is different then you have to say change it here let's look like here and this is the the road implementation so i say that the osm road feature input to that means it's different input parameter and output parameters so this is the here so is the all oh, that is railways and then land use and then 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 here is the the po point uh, points point of poi point of interest and waterways and this is the places of the 
of the open street main and the, the definition of this so we we define our interfaces we implement our in interfaces now we need to define our controller so if if you if you if you if you close look with this this the call the please go to the our my previous screencast like uh, 30 30.6 screencast there is a detailed test cases exactly same test cases and in, in the into the into the in the in the via the postman test cases i just copied this test case the who was the basic url and who's the parameter in the this is the standard call of the professional life we call the standard way this way so before when you did your your interface definition service definition implement your service so normally what i did in professional way uh, i did that i run the test cases i run the all the possible test for 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 the for my what the for my the real call, the real call of the web service and did the the test development before going to the defining the controller and before building the, our web pages so here is the one of the test cases if you see look, close look look that one so it's here the uh, we 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 set our all parameters and then input parameters and we called our 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 implemented services here and then we put it our and we run the, our test cases and is it is it working working for 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 me what i did just like every time when i call the web service and build a interfaces implement the, the those those functionalities and run the unit test or or you i how can how can i say it? run the all the possible combination parameters then i am sure my server code is, is working properly before getting this function call into the controller and this the the before and before calling the 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 function by action call and the controller call to the to the web pages because this is the the hundred percent cap test coverage is exactly what we need in the in the day to day life so we we get the complete pictures and even though when you did your 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 service call you did your your developments and then you run your 100% test coverage and see the picture voice which function is doing what and who is the parameter combination who is the output and then you done your, your, your implementation and just in now you need just call call the the the, the uh, implemented function to the controller and you call the con controller functions or actions to the to the web page and that's all that this is a professional way to structure it and to call it or to implement or to test it and to check it how is it works so when we try to run this uh, test cases of course we need to run our 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 web service applications let's have a start to run our web web service application to run and to to run and to check this test cases only we you need to more test cases here but for my case i give a short really short to one one of the short test cases when how is running the web that means how you run your web web services that let's see how you can run it this web services as so what i said here, our web service is deployed here the uh, here and we 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 need to run this web service to 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 run this web service and to to deploy this web service in the in the form for my case is locally and then you can call this web service to the to the to the web application so then through it and try to so here is our our the deployed web service like uh, we define our this is the web service call the start is service service script and then it will run the run your web service application to the development environment see the development environment since we are running the same version the version number two and it will give the uh, the url the the port is a 5067 is absolutely okay then 